Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode of 15 Minutes of Fame. I'm your host Nikki and this is Inside the Bars. Hey Rock. Hey Rock. Hey Gang. Hey Rock. What's up, Miss Nikki? How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Always good to see you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. For having um, me. sure, sure, sure. Um, so we're going to break down one of your battles, but before we do that, um, have you seen the show? Yes. And how, what do you think about it? I like it. Mm -hmm. The battle is needed. The fans need it for the ones that. You know, don't understand the lines or the structure of everything. Mm -hmm. This will help them, you know? Mm hmm It's neat, it's dope. Okay, so, I don't know if you know this. I do. What do you know? I'm my favorite battle rapper. <laughs> dope. I appreciate the love. How you know? Uncle Rod told me, and you told me, but, <laughs> you know. Yes, you're my favorite battle rapper. That's dope. So whenever I watch you, I always ask myself, what was he thinking when he wrote this? How did he come up with this? What was he doing when he said this? Like, I always want to know what you was doing and what you were thinking. I want to get inside your mind. Right. Part of the reason why we call the show Inside the Bars. Okay. So you're going to London to battle Pat Stay. Um... And the thing that everybody is using is the whole, I'm not Pat Stay. Right. And it's just like blowing up all over the place. Um, and we first heard you say that when you battled Calico. Calico. So that's the one that we're going to be breaking down today. Okay. I thought it would be fun to take like a little trip down memory lane. And I think this was a phenomenal battle, actually. Yeah, me too. Congratulations on your success with that. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Um, so we're going to, you know, get inside your mind a little bit. Let's do it. All right, so when you were battling Calico, how did you prepare? What all did you have to do to prepare for this battle? Um, I had to finish my last round two days before the event. Because I had a lot going on, but, uh. I was in a real, I was in a real good good place for Calico. Like I, it wasn't, it was it was hard for me preparing for him because he was somebody I wanted to battle. But mm -hmm. it's hard for me preparing for anybody that I really want to battle. So really, yeah, I would have think that it is because you come prepared. Yeah, mm -hmm. I always do. It doesn't matter if I really want to battle him or not. But just the thought that I put into it with battling somebody that I really want to battle it's like I try to overdo it I feel like really I feel like I be not overdo it I feel like I be overthinking like and that will drag my time out you know like the time that I have to prepare like mm -hmm. I'll get stuck trying to put some shit together and then I'll just try to rush like it, it, it'll come time to just start passing us like i have to get it done so it's like i'm rushing shit now so mm. like preparing for calico wasn't easy at all but i got it done mm -hmm. always do mm -hmm. sure do mm -hmm. um so you said that you know calico is somebody that you really wanted to battle you're kind of good at calling people out that you really want to battle and so far you battled everybody that you called out so far mm -hmm. um what makes you want to battle someone what is it that makes you say all right i gotta see him he gotta see me they they either have to they either have to have a style that i like something like something that i like or something that everybody else likes you know like if it's something that everybody else likes I want to 
be the one to be like, that's not that. You know, I want to be the one to take that from everybody. Or if there's somebody that I just think is super dope, I, I just want to battle them. That's just how I am. And which one was Cal? Cal was the one I thought was super dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he was the one... He was the bully. Like, mm. he's like one of the bullies from my era. Like, and I'm a little, little guy, so... I got the heart of a lion, though. It doesn't matter how big you are in the ring. I've never, ever been scared of none of these cats, so... Like, I just felt like everybody was scared of Cal. Like... Really? Yeah. This is when it was real. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is when it was real. I felt like everybody was scared of Cal. Like, if you see me and Cal battle, like, this... Me and Cal wasn't friends. I mean, we wasn't close. I mean, we wasn't enemies. But mm -hmm. we weren't close either. Like, right. And that was him fresh off the Pat State. Yeah, that was, was so aggressive. That was him right Pat after State. the Pat State battle. I've been calling Calico out for a couple years. I mean, but we always had like a mutual respect. But we never was on the same team. We never talked over the phone and spit bars to each other. So our battle was like, that's what gained. He gained my respect and I gained his through that. Like. Mm -hmm. And that happened with a lot of niggas I battled. Like, we really didn't respect each other until our battle is over. Mm. Like, so, and that's how me and Cal actually end up really fucking with each other. Like, yeah, right through the through this. Mm -hmm. Like, so. And I, I have a question, but I'm asking when we get to that round. Okay, so let's get into round one. You started off round one with the whole, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> the you faggot fiend, I'll give you half of the magazine. Do you dirty, speaking of dirty, I do you bad as clean. Okay, elaborate. Alright, um, I battled clean in Detroit. And I said that, I said those exact lines to him, like, you faggot fiend, I'll give you half of the magazine, do you dirty. I forgot how I said it to clean. It was it was like one line was switched differently. I said something like, you faggot fiend, I'll mm -hmm. give you half of the magazine. No. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I did not say that in the clean battle. Y'all did not hear those bars in the clean battle. I battled Rich Dollars. And I called Calico out in the Rich Dollars battle. And those was the lines that I said to Calico. Like when I cut off my one of my rounds, like I think it was like third round, and I turned around and started dissing Calico. Mm. And those was the lines that I said to him, like, you faggot fiend, I'll give you half of the magazine. Do you dirty? Speaking of dirty, I do you bad as clean, cause clean was his man that I battled right, right before Rich Dollars. Mm -hmm. That's when I came up with that line and I called Calico out. So that was years ago. Yeah, that was called, a long time ago. That was ago. years ago I called Calico out. Like, yeah. Yeah, and then I said I brought that line back when I battled him. So right. that's where that came from. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to jump down a little bit more. After that, you did the whole um, think when Ricky got shot or Bishop got dropped. It's going to be a tragic scene, which I thought was hard. Um, you also said, I couldn't wait for this match. Just for you, I bought the gasoline. You couldn't wait for this match, obviously, because... You think Calico is dope, mm -hmm. and you wanted to battle him, so you you answered that before we got to that. Um, I want to jump down a little bit more when you did the carpenter thing, mm -hmm. which I thought was dope. You remember what you said? Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as the like, uh, bang on his roof with the ham out the craftsman's jeans, mm -hmm. that line. Mm -hmm. um, like a carpenter, bang on his roof with the ham out of the craftsman's jeans. All right, a carpenter bangs on a roof with a hammer, and his hammer goes in the loophole of his craftsman's jeans. Mm -hmm. Now, like a carpenter, I bang on your roof, your head. Like a carpenter, bang on his roof with the hammer. A carpenter has a hammer, but I'm talking about a hammer, mm -hmm. like a gun. Mm -hmm. Like a carpenter, bang on your roof with the hammer out the craftsman's jeans. The craftsman's jeans holds the carpenter's hammer mm -hmm. or it can hold the gun. Mm -hmm. So that's just where the whole bar came. Right. Like Just like a carpenter 
scheme punch one liner. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Type thing. Yeah. So okay. So we're gonna jump down a little bit more to what I like to, I consider my favorite part of your first round. Um, <laughs> um, the gun bars for my first impression. You want to do it together? Gun bars for my first impression. Why did I say that? Do you know why I said gun bars for my first impression? Um, you know, you're considered the gun bar king. I don't know if you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're considered the gun bar king. So I figured that had a lot to do with it. That had a lot to do with it, but... Yes, that has a lot to do with it. But for my first impression, all right, my first round, my mm -hmm. this is your first impression of me in front of you, mm -hmm. gun bars, calico, gun bars for my first impression. That's that's what I was thinking for that line. Like, this is your, this is what you're getting from me right now. Mm -hmm. Like at this moment, first first impression, first round mm -hmm. impression was the only reason the only reason I said that word is because it rhymes with anything else but I really meant like my this your first round first everything from me this is what you get that I'm glad that you said that because I, I was as you were talking I was saying in my head it's interesting that you use the word impression and then you said right. that's why I use that word right. but um I would think that you would start off your round like that a little bit yeah I kind of like I felt like with Calico, I kind of, I felt like I wanted to come straight in. Like, like I could have started my thing off like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just switch my intros. Like, I actually, I probably wrote that, like, as my intro and then added bars before it like because probably i thought the round was too short and when mm -hmm. i whenever i have a short round mm -hmm. like i don't like to put bars in between them i'll either put bars at the end of them or in the beginning to make the verse longer okay so that's probably what happened like i probably had started off with that and had the rest of my round done and probably thought of the rest of the beginning later and put that in front of it but okay. that probably didn't even i probably didn't even mean for it to happen like that like that's just how i write just weird sometimes yeah. but it works for me so yeah I'm tripping. okay um i'll murder calico with the calico and bury calico with the murder weapon mm -hmm. all right <laughs> D E S K, you trying to learn the lesson? You trying to hold up? What the hell? Where, where, where was I? You trying what to up? learn the lesson? You ever heard of heaven? You ever heard of heaven? I I murder calico with the calico and bury calico with the murder weapon. All right. <laughs> Jesus, I said this. Said I it. was wowing on him. Yeah, Jesus. Uh -huh. I remember Forget the, the me, crowd Cal. had a I crazy. I killed you, um, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. The crowd had a crazy I reaction said, to this. Can I read this? Do you like, think? wow. Gun I'm bar. I'm ready for nothing. Okay, I killed you, bro. Gun bars for my first impression. I'm strapped with a D E S K. You trying to learn a lesson? You ever heard of heaven? I'll, I'll murder Calico with the Calico and bury Calico with the murder weapon. What the fuck was I thinking? Like, that's crazy. Well, that's what I want to know. But nah, like, all right, if I can break down the bar, like, all right, the D-E-S-K, like, two different guns. A D-E, D Desert Eagle, a S-K mm -hmm. is like a chopper. Now, D-E-S-K, put together, that spells desk. A desk, you learn lesson sitting at a desk. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that bar. I'm straight with a D E S K. You trying to learn a lesson? You ever heard of heaven? All right, I'll murder Calico. With a calico, his name is a gun. I uh, murder calico with a calico, then bury calico with calico, the right. murder weapon. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, because his to name you. is a gun. Like, that shit, I think that shit was crazy. Yo, I killed you, bro. I, I can't stop saying that. that's crazy. I can't believe I said that to him, yo. That's wild.
We gotta keep going. Yeah, we, we're gonna keep going. All right, so let's jump down a little bit. Whenever you see a star, that's just little lines that I thought was dope that we don't All really right. have to go too deep into. Um, the I, I call this that a curry Stefan. I call the ish that I, I call that shit that I curry. He, he said ish because that's how I yeah, spelled yeah, it. Not ish. I call that shit that I curry Stefan like. It's a thirty. Thirty, yeah. Yeah, yeah I put in it's a, it, mm -hmm. it got to thirty, like not I. It, it, curry is like a reach, but it sounds like curry. Yeah, yeah. So the shit that I carry, Stefan. Uh -huh. Curry, curry has a thirty on his back, but the shit that I carry is a thirty. Uh -huh. All right, that's okay. slick. I think it's dope. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, switch up on pronunciation with curry, carry, curry. Yeah, but where I'm from, we could say curry, and it sound like. Carry. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. right. So right. I can get away. I can get away with curry. Um. All right. So here I had a little issue, cause I keep saying this. I don't watch none of this stuff with all this X Men stuff. I don't really know. Okay. So yes, it was a long time ago. I probably could have looked it up by now, but I don't really mm -hmm. care. Um. So you said, if you want the drama, I might. I inter might intervene. Okay. You was about to keep I'll going. make a buck fifty. Hold on, let's see. If now here to... I wasn't sure what you said, so I Oh wrote if you want the drama, I might intervene. I'll make a buck fifty look like a slight guillotine. Okay. Like, so... alright. Uh somebody's head is on a guillotine and it didn't get cut all the way through, but it's deep as hell. Like, alright, a buck fifty, you getting your it's like a slight cut, but a slight guillotine is like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like somebody tried to damn near cut your shit off. Like, all right, I'm. It's a little violent, mm -hmm. but that's just where my mind's at with it. Like, right. <laughs> I'm trying to kill the nigga. So that's just where I'm at with it. Like, all right, if you want the drama, I might intervene. I'll make a buck fifty look like a slight guillotine. I X Men. I work with minds like I'm Gene. All right. I you ex said Gene, right? Yeah, okay. like I'm Gene. I X Men. I work with minds. Gene and X Men. Gene yeah. can work with your mind, but I'm saying, like I, like I, when I say I X Men, like I get rid of niggas. Mm -hmm. Like I get rid of you. Like I X Men. I work with minds. Like I'm mine. My hammer. Right. Like I'm Gene, but. I'm saying minds, like right. I work with minds, like I'm Gene. Mm -hmm. You'll see ARs talking like Lightning McQueen mm -hmm. in the movie, it's a kids' movie, Cars, and Lightning McQueen that talks. Right. So see ARs talking. Oh, I like didn't even Lightning that. McQueen. Oh yeah, and I spelled, I wrote it, and I didn't even. Oh, I didn't put the. Okay. Yeah, How many like, people? Yeah. Call, you I knew you seen Cars now. before, right? Yeah. Well, all right. Well, you didn't catch it, so no. but inside oh, I thought of you bars, meant cars you, like real don't cars. Don't edit that. You mean the, keep that in there. <laughs> no, I thought you meant you talking about the movie cars. Yeah, the movie. Oh, cars. I thought you said you know. I thought I know you no, saw cars for like no, a real movie, car. Like no, yeah, the I've movie, seen a car. The before. movie cars like. Oh, okay, no, I didn't see that movie actually. Oh, all right. right. Well, if you didn't, if you didn't see it, if you didn't, they like Barbies and. If you didn't see stuff. the movie um cars like in the movie cars, there's this car named Lightning McQueen mm -hmm. and all the cars talk so I said you'll and but when I say you'll see ARs like mm -hmm. AR is a gun mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. see ARs talking Lightning McQueen was a car talking in the movie Cars okay so I think that bar is kind of crazy too yeah definitely all right so here's another one of my favorites the breakfast scheme I think that's one of my favorites in that too really let me see is this it right here yeah He's taking my paper. <laughs> I heard. I, I, this is like it's like going down. Uh, Memory like you lane? said, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Memory I lane. thought of this breakfast scheme while making grits. Why fool around? And I, and I was lying. What? I wasn't making grits, but grits was just better to you use. Wasn't making grits. Nah, Which I don't like making? grits. Probably oatmeal. <laughs> Probably uh, apple cinnamon or strawberries and cream. Really? Was Peaches and cream too. I love that shit. Was it good? Yeah, but okay. no grits. Okay. I said I thought of this breakfast scheme while making grits. Waffle, waffle. Mm -hmm. Like you know the square ego waffle <laughs> or right round waffle. Yes. Like my fault. Waffle around after this biscuit, the biscuit. Mm -hmm. 
could be a gun. Mm -hmm. You know, a slang term for a gun. The yes. biscuit, crack your egg, your egg could be your head. Mm -hmm. And your bacon strip. Mm -hmm. Your girl can strip after you get your head split. Yes. So basically, I thought of this breakfast scheme while making grits. Why fool around after the biscuit, crack your egg, your bacon strip. I think that's crazy. We already broke that down, right? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> I just wanted to say that again. The, um, the toast French. I'm going to let it erase your shit. The toast French. French toast. The to The gun is from France. It's uh, French. Okay. All right. The toast French. I'm going to let it erase your shit. Hole in them like a bagel. I sent them in the raisin shit, right? Mm-hmm. Cinnamon raisin bagel. You look Holding like you had a like lot of a bagel. fun writing like, that part. I, I did. I'm like, it's wild that I'm just sitting here reading this shit. I'm like, damn, I really said this shit like this. Like, that's wild. Yo, you're hilarious. That's wild. I really, uh -huh. did, I really did wild on him. But uh, I This think, is only round one. Right. Mm -hmm. I think um, I like the breakfast scheme. I think that shit is top notch. Everybody likes the breakfast scheme. I, when, when you go on live, I see people writing that. In your so life. I thought of this breakfast scheme while making grits. Why fool around after this biscuit? Crack your egg, your bacon strip, the toast French. I'ma let, I'ma let. When I'm saying I'ma let, I'm saying like I'ma let, like I'ma let, I'ma let, uh, I'ma let, I'ma let it erase your shit. Hole in them like a bagel. I cinnamon, they raisin shit like cinnamon raisin bagel. Uh yeah, I think that scheme is top notch. But yes, it definitely is. What's the next one? Okay, so a little bit further down in round one, I call this the little munchies scheme. Excuse me. Okay. Um, then I came with this. I'll put a potato on the barrel if you try to give tater chips. Let me see. If you don't give tater chips. Cinnamon, cinnamon, they raisin shit. Damn this. I'll put a potato. I put a potato on a barrel if you don't give tater chips. Mm -hmm. Damn, I did say that shit. <laughs> that shit is crazy. <laughs> you see, I, I, um, what? wait, let me nah, ask you a question. I, I, I see what you did. That's dope. In the parentheses, you have potato chips. So that's like no, waking me up from what I did. Okay, like, so damn, this was, I did that. Like, this was three years ago, right? So as you're shit. Um, reading this, are you thinking to yourself, like, okay, I've gotten better or like, I'm trying to get back into this bag. Like, what what is what is going through your head right now? Because I can see you're like, wow, I can't believe I said that. But what I think I'm trying of? to get back. I was at a different place here. Okay. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I was. I was at a real different place here. Like. A better place. Yeah. Okay. Mine, mine wise, I was. It was nothing that could uh, fuck with me, like. Okay, and you feel like now you're. I don't feel like. After reading this, mm -hmm. like reading it, seeing it, like it's like. I changed a lot. Really. Yeah. Okay. I changed a whole lot, and it's like. I don't know if it's for the better. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of negatives from fans. I mean, I still have my my number. My I can count. Not count, but like it's like certain fans that like comment that I know been there mm -hmm. since the jump. Like that I just recognize. Like you get what I'm saying? Like that be on my IG and shit. Right. But. So you want to get back to this place? Yeah. This is the place I'm trying to so get to. So you battled chess after this. You battled rum after this. You don't think you was in that place when you battled them? Mm, nah. Nah. I definitely wasn't in that uh, in that same headspace. Um, As this? Nah. Okay. Like, I was in a real good headspace when I did this. I was in a real good headspace when I battled Briz. 
when I battled John John when we did double impact one after that I like I started going through a lot mm -hmm. like a lot that just started affecting how I prepare okay like, you know like and this is what I'm trying to get back to okay. like this <laughs> for real like all right so let's keep going um yeah you did all right keep going I'm to give potato chips uh-huh um for the cheese steaks is high mm -hmm. cheese steaks mm -hmm. for the cheese steaks is high I'm gonna make it lit grill me grill me if you want the blade or fish fillet your shit like cut you up skin you right. whatever like yeah. you know what I mean like yeah. it's violent but that's me like <laughs> you ain't gum barking for no reason word like why you keep letting them take your pad though <laughs> I, I'm, like I'm, he was happy like, I'm he was just excited. like I'm like damn I ain't really even s like once I once I finish a battle like like I'll have my bars in my phone but like once I, my battle is complete, like after I battle the person, I delete it. So right. I don't even read wow, it. Yeah, really? I don't got no, I don't have, write the shit on paper no more. Like that era is over with. Yeah, Last, but my man, don't you know how valuable that is? Like for me, if I'm a, I'm a Tay Rock fan, you know what I mean? 20 years from now, you know, shit. Oh, this is Tay Rock's lyrics mm -hmm. from With him his right Calico. handwriting. It's his shit. You know what I mean? Like, right. don't delete them shits no yeah. more, bro. Hold on to them, mm -hmm. man. That's that's yo. That's fucking. It's like a buried treasure, man. You know, it's. I mean, we do have it on footage. You know what I mean? But so it's something it's, about having yeah, it. Yeah. To touch. Yeah, just like what's the uh, the uh, four scores in thirty years ago, whatever that saying is. What is that? You know what it is? No. Four scores. That old thing, shit, whatever the testament. Let's just say the 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 the. Uh, testament mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you know it's on paper we know it you know what i mean we we've read it and everybody knows but when you have it it's worth a lot of money you know yeah one day you, you, your writings might be worth some money to somebody yeah. you know what i mean right. so especially don't being delete them no more. who you are that's crazy and then i'm gonna need a percentage if you ever yeah. auction your shit off <laughs> you yeah, look at that verse for about 3.5 million what the fuck <laughs> crazy. What y'all do is phenomenal, man. So don't ever get rid of this shit. Bro. Word. Shit. Yeah, that's love. Word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he appreciated that. Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a fact. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna jump down. So, like I said, whenever you see the stars, those are just lines that I, I just like. All right. Um, and when you see this, those are schemes. All right. Okay, so. Cool, cool. cool. Um, I don't fight with words. You're not the only one that fight with birds. You said that. Oh, right. I didn't really um get that part because right. when you said you ain't the only one, so that's insinuating that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so explain that. Well, I mean, it's over for him now, so I mean, I guess I can talk about it. Um, he had gotten to some wild shit. Like, he used to fight chickens. Like, literally. Oh, okay, birds. now I remember hearing that. Uh -huh. yeah, he's like bird fighting, so. Oh right, right yeah, right, right, I remember right. like now. Fighting, yeah, chickens. Right, yeah, he was fighting right. chickens instead of dogs. Right. He was fighting chickens, so that's why I said that. Like, okay, eagle, hawk, with me, two right. birds, but two weapons, mm -hmm. and he's a chicken fighter, so. You ain't the only one to fight with birds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what. That's how. I, that's how I put that together. But yeah, that just really like Easter woke egg, me Easter up egg. on that. That woke <laughs> me up on that. Like I, I forgot I even wrote that shit. Bro. Really? Like, yeah, that's crazy. All right. Um, I like the line. Take his work from him and say it's mine. That's plagiarism. I thought that was fire. Right. 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 Um. Then you jump. You know, I want to jump down when you said out of J C ill will and clean. You gonna get the. You gonna get it the worst. I'm showing favoritism. That was one of my faves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Damn. I now, think. listen, though. <laughs> listen. This is how you ended round one. And it was a strong ending. And I even remember what you did when you said this particular part. Right. <laughs> you said, smack with me because I son these. And I signed him over to custody. And I remember because you turned around when you did it. And you did like this, like you were signing papers. Right. And, um... 
the audience, the crowd went crazy. And I thought that was a great way to end round one. Number one, because we know that... I want to say you're probably Smack's favorite too. But um, that was dope. Um, yeah, you you can even look at crazy. Cal's face. Because I send these niggas and sign them over to custody. I do remember that shit. Yeah, so... Smack fuck with me because I send these niggas and sign them over to custody. Yeah, that's light. I think that's how I ended that shit. Right? That's light. How, where did that come from? You're known for that. that uh, or is that just how you, you know, that's just how you Nah, speak? That, that, that came... That came from me taunting. I was just playing around, um, actually, and then it became a thing, like, um, I'm trying to think what battle it was, oh my god. Will you start it? It will. Okay. It was the first battle I started it, and it became a thing, like, taunting him, like, because I forgot, like, in the midst of us battling, he said something to me. I forgot what he said, but it was something about, like, I it was, I think he called me light, like, something like that. Like, that shit, like, that's, that shit light, like. So you said that while he was talking? No, no, oh. no, no, no. Like, he, he said that while I was rapping. Like, while I'm rapping. Oh, while you were rapping. I, okay. While I'm rapping, I hear him say something like that. Like, this shit light. Like, oh. and I was taunting him the whole time, like, nigga, that's light. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, when every time the crowd cheer, that's how I created that. Like, I was, like, taunting him, because me and him really was, like, bumping heads. Like, we did, wasn't cool. Me and Elwell wasn't cool. Like, we had bad energy on the stage, and we fed off each other's vibes. Like, you get what I'm saying? That's what made it a real good battle, because we really ain't like each other. I mean, we got high respect for each other now because mm -hmm. of that battle. Oh, that's like, like what you was talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, it was when it was real. Me and Ill Will didn't fuck with each other. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. but yeah. It's like, funny because Ill Will, we doing you and Cal, they battle today. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's transition into round two. Um, round two, again, I feel like you had a strong start. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go. 15 minutes of fame. Stepping into 15 minutes of fame radio. Yeah. 